Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about the fast API Olama inside Docker. Yes, everything will be inside of the Docker and we are going to create a simple route in the fast API which says ask and when we say try it out and if I ask question or maybe just say hey and execute it, it will go to Olama, run this prompt to the llama 3 model and give me the response while this is running let's see this is a docker compose file we are going to create with olama how we can run and pull llama 3 model inside of the docker and everything is here for you okay so you can see the prompt is passed to llama 3 and we get the response response says something like response says hey how are you doing? This is the response from my Llama 3 model I'm running inside of the Docker. So you can see if I say Docker and list out all the containers I have and basically I run the running container and here is the one Olama. This is the one Olama one and I want to get inside it. Once I get inside it and then I say Olama list and you can see I have the model 10 minutes ago but if I run the same command on my local machine you can see I have 5 days ago llama 3 and 3 months ago llama 2. So this is actually running inside of the docker which is really great. And if you feel that these kind of videos are helpful to you consider subscribing hit that subscribe button and hit the like button so that I'll get the motivation to create more such kind of videos. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, to get started with this, I have this uh, empty folder open with VS Code. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start with the fast API. And uh, obviously, I already have installed Olama. So Olama is on my system. But obviously, we are not going to use my system Olama. We are going to create the Docker container and use that inside it. So first of all, as I said, starting with the fast API. So I'll create a directory called fast API and inside that app.py. So let's go inside the fast API directory and use python.env to create virtual environment. Once that's done, activate the virtual environment and use pip3 to install fast api uvcon and request packages once done then we will start with the app.py so first i'll say hey uh, from fast api import fast api create the instance of the fast api like this and very soon we will be going to have a get request for uh, directory uh, a function called home you can name it anything by the way and i will say hello world okay so this is done let me zoom it for you and once done then i'm going to use the fast api dev command to start the server okay so you can see server is started at localhost 8000 so let's go to localhost 8000 here and you can see uh, if I go on localhost 8000 yeah it says hello world that's great but let's go on the docs to get the swagger API by the way it's open API not swagger API and here you can try it out okay that's for the fast API but I'm going to create another route and I say app.get this time I'll say ask ask from the olama and i'll say once again ask and this will get the prompt maybe and prompt which is going to be a string and then i'm going to use the olama you know olama is running on my local with the with the url of localhost 11434 as the port and we can check that by going to the localhost 11434 and you can see it says yes olama is running great everything is inside my local but we will going to dockerize it but first let's see how it work so i'm going to import the request 
requests and also response from fast api and then i'll say response of the request i'm going to provide which is http localhost colon 11434 slash api slash generate now this is the api for olama you can just search for olama olama api and you can get the api for different things so i'm going to use the generate uh, api which is here and now here we need to provide some properties which is like uh, first important thing is prompt and prompt is obviously the prompt we will provide then i will say like stream is false because this time we are not we don't want this to stream the response once done then give me all the response at once and finally uh, after this we need to provide the model we are going to use and in this case we are going to use uh, llama 2 because that's all in my local olama so if i check for list of the models i have olama 2 installed already but we are going to use the llama 3 in our docker so finally return response of this fast api where i will provide content content response dot text and media type as application json okay everything is done we have seen some problem str it says some problem with the str okay so here it should be with the colon it's a type and finally done and if i now reload you can see now we have another route where i can try it out and i say uh, why is sky blue the question from the documentation execute it and yes it will take time because of my machine is slow and running the llm model in my local so we need to wait for the response great after 30 seconds the response is here and the reason why is whatever it is so it is working fine but we want to dockerize everything cool so first of all we have this fast api but inside this i'm going to create a docker file so docker file will be like docker file docker file like this and i'll say from python 3.8 slim version i'm going to say hey copy slash requirements dot txt to let's say work work dir is slash app so working directory is app and i'll say hey move this to requirements.txt but where is the requirements.txt so what we need to do we need to kill this server and i say pip 3 freeze every dependencies into the requirements.txt and now we have the requirement.txt everything is there and once done then we'll say hey pip 3 install recurring from slash app slash requirements.txt okay finally if everything is fine then run the command for fast api um, run reload because if i change anything then it should reload this is for the docker file of fast api now on the root i'll create a compose.yaml file where i say version is let's say three for now and then i will provide the services first service is web obviously which is we say build from fast api so fast api when i say this is going to check for the directory and check for the docker file inside the fast api which we already have great now let's define the ports we know it's 8000 in local and 8000 inside of the container and then we provide the volumes volumes like this and volume is this fast api everything this fast api contains and we are going to map it with the slash app of the container remember we said that working directory is slash app great finally we need to provide the network so networks is going to be 
like let's say tutorial net this is the network i'm going to create so networks and i say tutorial net which is going to be having driver as bridge great once everything is done we need to go into the root that means the tutorial directory where we have everything basically the compose.yaml file and i say docker compose up this is just going to start the uh, fast api because we have only set up for a fast api so it will going to pull the python 3.8 slim version which is really fun and easy and small then it's going to install all the dependencies from requirement.txt which you can see it's doing and once everything is done then it's going to start the fast api server and then we will be able to see everything here so if i reload you can see it is still there okay that's good but llama is not inside the container if i try it out on the ask part you can see i'm getting error it's internal server error which says hey uh, local ho host doesn't have any 11434 thing because it's inside the container okay what i'm going to do i'm going to create another container and another service by the way called and we are going to create it with another docker file from the olama directory so just like i create the build from olama directory so i'll say olama and create a docker file and here inside the docker file i'll say hey from olama slash olama this is the olama docker hub i'll say yes so here is a olama image from docker hub we are using great okay so olama olama and then the really important thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy a file called pull llama 3.sh so this is going to be a file which we are going to create which is going to be responsible to pull the llama 3 model inside of the container and that's inside the olama con uh, directory okay what i'm going to do here i'm going to say hey from bin slash olama serve that means start the olama when you run the container okay but i'm going to write the ampersand to make it asynchronous and then i check for pid process id which i record like this and then i sleep for five seconds so that the server of olama start gradually and then once it is done then i say hey olama pull llama 3 okay just to make sure it's working i just have echo pulling llama 3 model great and finally i'll wait for process id to complete like pid great so this is done we have created the docker file for olama and then we are choosing it here on the olama container then i open the ports so here 11434 from local uh, like on my system and then 434 inside of the container similar to this volumes i'm going to define a volume called uh, what's the volume uh, let's say tutorial wall and that's going to be inside olama and obviously the networks which is extremely important so that fast api can communicate with olama container how we can do that we just say hey this is going to be tutorial net as the network so let's define the volume and here i say tutorial wall and driver is local finally everything is done uh, volumes like this great now everything is done i'm going to kill the running container because this time it's not only going to create the fast api container but also the olama container and pulling the llama image uh llama model actually but before that how our container will know that we need to run this uh, pull llama 3.sh file okay so for that on the container i'll say entry point and this entry point will say hey uh, go to the user bin bash 
and then run this which is pull llama 3.sh file okay everything is done this is going to take really big time so now i'm going to start the building of the containers you can see fast api is already started boom it's there and really you can see it says pulling llama 3 model great this is a really big task which is uh, it says 47 parts of 100 mb that means 4.7 gb of this llama 3 model it's going to take really big time for me it's around 10 to 15 minute it totally depend upon the internet connection you have and how powerful your system is okay so let's wait for this to complete and then i will get back okay finally you can see that llama is done with downloading or pulling the llama 3 model so i can confirm by going into the docker image so here you can see tutorial llama is here so i'm going to copy this and execute uh, inside of this and i say olama list and boom you can see latest llama 3 model is there it's inside the docker container if i show you that here is my local machine which is having llama 2 that's powerful now i can check how powerful it is so try it out on ask and why is water um, tasteless is it like like this <laughs> tasteless <laughs> like this great so this is going to be really amazing so let's execute it and it's having some internal server error now what's the server error A server error says that hey you're still trying to looking for the local host which is not true in our case because we want this to be from the olama container so i say olama here and this is going to restart because we said that hey uh, once you run this reload this whenever i made any changes that's great and once again let's click on execute it says olama 2 model is not there <laughs> so we have still one more thing to improve this is llama 3 and now i'm going to run and yes it's loading that means it's working taking time and very soon we are going to get the answer why is water tasteless wow you can see we are getting the answer and this is here water is often described as being tasteless blah, blah blah things but yes it's working fine and we are getting the answer from our local llm model which is running inside of the docker container wow that's so powerful and yes this is really working and you can use any model from olama so you can just for olama go here check for the model it has and you can check and try any type of model you want great so now if you want to try it out if you want to just see just to go to the description check out the repository where i push everything into that so that you can just copy and paste and try it out and then understand how it's working see you in the next video and if this video is helpful to you just hit subscribe button just hit that like button also and we'll meet in the next video till then goodbye